good morning 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 hello and welcome back please do not stay with me i literally just woke up <laughs> but i have very limited time to film this video so i was like well i'm not really gonna do makeup I did a video in january and it was like rearranging my room <laughs> part one right it was about 40 minutes long i only did half my room i only half finished it. now we've got like a year left until i leave leave home i mean um which actually I can't even talk about because it won't be great. Uh, I want to get my room to a state where I feel happy in it for a year, but like not to a point where I've like got to, you know, do anything major. So I've done a lot of DIYs for this video already. So I'm going to pop them in randomly here and there. I only ended up making one DIY, but this is a plaster Paris canvas thing and it actually turned out really cool. So I was really happy with it. What you do, you mix plaster Paris powder with water until it's a texture that it can hold its shape, but it's not too thick that you can't still mold it. You throw it on the board and grab any tool you possibly can, smudge it about and attack it with utensils to make texture. I used a sponge, I used a fork, like whatever. I didn't show this but afterwards I painted it in white paint just so that it had a clean look and would blend into my bedroom wall rather than being a funny off-white colour. So these are the ones I print, painted and made, I'll show you them more in detail. This section here is basically where I've dumped material that I want to make clothes with. So I want to sort this out. Um, and I've got all my books under my bed, which makes me really sad because I've got back into reading more recently and I'm like, I want all my books to be out. I'm moving this shelf over here because the amount of times I wake up and I bang my head on that shelf is, oh, and if I put it there, I could put more heavy things on it without worrying that it's going to actually fall on me when I'm asleep. Um, and then I could put some pictures up and stuff. If you've watched my videos for a while, you might have, you might remember that there was like a picture wall up there. Um, I took that down and because the pictures just weren't me anymore, but I've still got the frames. I've still got everything, but I've just taken it down. And I think I'm going to put some pictures up there as well. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. I'm just going to take it off because it shouldn't be that difficult. I say this now. This is my baby Samuel. And my friend gave it to me. We named him Samuel. He's not really thriving. Okay, really random question that's just literally overcome me. So I was doing the wall and I've suddenly sent back to a dream, right? Because I've had a dream about my room, but in a completely different way. So it was exactly the same layout as my room, but the vibe was entirely different. Entirely different way of viewing it. I can't explain, it. almost like a different dimension. It... <laughs> Someone help me out here. <laughs> All I could find was this massive hammer. So <laughs> this is what we'll be working with. My brother's still asleep next door. Right, what height do I want it? My DIY skills. Oh, look at sweet little Jua. Doesn't she look cute there? Maybe I'll make a picture wall on that one. That could be cool. But doesn't she look adorable in that corner? Specifically in that spot. I'm getting ahead of myself. I think I'm the DIY queen. I have a lot of pictures lined up that I've either painted or I've created. These are all the things I have that I can put on my wall. Uh, as in the big prints. Uh, here we are, my best friend, the command strips. This really takes me back to the first ever video I made. I'm going to put two of these up there. I think side by side. Yeah, I'm preferring side by side. Just depends which ones. So let me show you the options. You have like that, which I kind of like. That, not, oh, that's nice. sunlight now when i'm filming here we will have like a little backdrop rather than it just being entirely plain i moved them to be a bit close together i think it looks better i'm gonna put this one up here there we go that's better here with something like this in 
can look like it's leaning against it. Who would have thought that I would love dressing shelves so much? How cute. Might not leave it exactly like that, but I'm loving that at the moment. I've got these little candle things. I was going to say, I don't think they'll fall out, but apparently they will. That looks better. Just one. But my ideas with this is I can slowly build it up and cover the whole thing with just stuff that I love. I changed it a little bit. I think it looks better like that. And now I'm thinking of putting that on there. I'm always saying how much I want my books out. Um, and then I don't think I've realized how many few like books I have that I would read now. Um, I have a lot of books from when I was like little, um, that sort of thing. just create a little stack of. I like that. Uh, that obviously needs sorting out. I could put a plant in there, that could be cute. I've just noticed that the disco ball is putting light on the ceiling. Oh, it's literally stopped as I said that. Even more reason to get it out. next job is finding a place for these canvases because as much as I, I love having them in a pile but they're really impractical behind the door because they keep falling down so I'm thinking somehow putting them over here unless I lean them up against the bed maybe that would work So that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm actually going to film a room tour so like I do a bit more of an in-depth discussion of things soon. So let me know if you'd like to see that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did and I will speak to you all very soon. Love you.